Ladies and gents, this improv story is based on the idea a man finds a magic Rubik's Cube. Let the story commence. There was this guy called Craig and he went into a shop, like a kind of, he just won't buy it's a shop that just sells things. Kind of toy shop, it's got other bits and pieces. Notepads, pens, me toys, one of these sort of shops. Hard to explain, news agents, toy shop, just a shop, a shop, a shop, a shop, shop. And he went in, he went like that, looking about, he's like, I'm looking for something. Guy behind the counter said, uh, can I help you, sir? I'm just looking, just looking. What are you looking for? Anything I can help you with? Right away, Craig, because like, that was the guy's name. He was thinking, is I think I'm a fucking shoplifter? That's what you would think if you're getting asked, can I, can I help you? What is he looking for? Do I look like a junkie? Do I look like a junkie? Thinking to himself, do I look like I'm in here to like, knock some stuff? To feed a habit? Um poshed himself up a wee bit. No, no, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. I'm just looking for some some things, thank you. Thank you, That I'm just looking for some things, thank you. No, thank you. But he was looking about and um, he thought to himself, what am I actually, what actually am I in here for? What am I actually in here for? <laughs> was I in for cereal? It wasn't it for cereal, it was some of these things in the window that kind of looked like, don't know, piqued my interest, that's the phrase. What am I looking for? And the funny thing is, he was thinking, maybe it'd be best if I was a junkie. Then I would know what I was looking for. I'd be looking for heroin. And if I wasn't looking for heroin, I'd be looking for stuff to fucking knock and then fucking sell to get the fucking heroin. Nice and simple. What am I looking for, man? And the guy behind the counter said, what is he you looking for? Again. And Craig said, Do you know, I don't know. And the guy said, Maybe... This? Maybe one of these? And Craig went, you know what? <laughs> aye, 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 a Rubik's Cube, um, aye. This is no ordinary Rubik's Cube, son. Craig went, how, how, what? The guy said, yeah, take it. Take it. Oh, I, I don't know. Take it. It's yours. You could see through the guy, man. He could see behind the guy. He could actually see behind the guy. Through it. He's like, what was going on with that? What? And the next time he looked, it was just a normal cube. How much? So Craig took the Rubik's Cube, he just thought, just take that and he bought a, two pints of milk and cereal just so that he's actually buying something. Weird. Normally if somebody was to say, here, take this Rubik's Cube, just take it in a shop, you'd go, what are you on about? Is it for free or something? Um, yeah. He just went along with it. The next thing he knew, he was walking down the street and he was like about a mile away for this shop. And that's when he's like that. Right, let's check out the Rubik's Cube. He went like this. 
Here he was with a cube, right? And he's like, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this, look. Where do I begin? Maybe if I get one face. I'll get one face. I'll try and get the white face, right? I'll try and get the white face. So he went like this, look. He went like this. This is what he did, right? This is what he did. I'll tell you what he did. This is this, this is what I, I, this is what he did. No, let's 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 not do that. Let's not do that. He uh, solved one face. Just then, an old man with a beard came walking out of nowhere and went like that. Looking for me. The whole thing, right, was just getting so mental that Craig just went like here. And he went like that. Fucking bang, man. Broke the old guy's nose. This wasn't the guy back in the shop. This is an old guy. He just went like that. Bang, man. Like, done the way. Done. Done the way like that. Now, I'm doing that because I'm trying to get her the mic, but that's actually how he did it. He went like that. Bang. You know, use gravity. He, like, he jumped up. He jumped up like that. You know, like, you know the way somebody slam, slam dunk? Basketball in the fucking net like that. Boom. He was like, whoop, boom. Fucking old guy's nose, man. But remember, you have sort of brittle bones when you're older. Fucking old face, man. The front of the face just went like that. Just caved in. Front of the face, just all the bones just went like, fuck you, man. And his face was just like, mm, hanging off. He was hanging off like a fucking ball sack. The front of his face looked like a fucking scrotum. An old man's scrotum, like, swinging. With the bones at the bottom, man. And then Craig went like, here. And so he grabbed the guy's ball bag of bones, broken bones, and twisted it. Right? And then he went like that, yeah. Pulled it off. Just pulled it off. The guy was like, ah, ah. Then Craig went like, here, man. And started fucking punching into him again. The bit where the, you know, the face was all missing. Started punching into him, man. And he took the fucking Rubik's Cube and he went like, get that back to your fucking pal at the fucking shop. The old guy. Didn't know what was going on. When he said you're looking for me. There was there's another thing going on you don't even know, but this old guy thought that, that Craig was this guy that he was meant to meet. Completely unrelated. There's ne nothing to do with the magic. Not, he's nothing to do with the story. The old guy's nothing to do with the story. And he just got just fucking face taken off, man. The end. <laughs>